morning. Welcome in. It's another edition of the Kelly Wells Show. I'm Andrew Joyce, your host, joined by the head coach of the University of Pikeville Bears. He is the Mid-South Conference Coach of the Year for 2014. The Bears is currently ranked second in the country, 16-game win streak and 30-2. and two. Coach Kelly Wells, allow me to say congratulations. I know that you're happy, but not finished. No, we're, we're thrilled with where we're at. <clears throat> the guys have been tremendous. It's really, when you think about the accomplishments of the season, it's a little bit overwhelming to, to stop and think about for a little bit. Uh, but we're certainly nowhere satisfied. We've got five more games that we want to play and five more games that we want to win. But we are certainly thrilled uh, with where we currently stand, and that's 30 good wins and uh, conference regular season champs and tournament champs. That's uh, th Those are some good awards. Sure. Uh, you wrap up the Mid-South Conference champion, tournament championship on Sunday, and then you have about 10 days before you play again. Any concern that your team starts to look at things that they've accomplished then and tough to stay focused for that, that run? Well, you, yes, in some ways, but it's also, you know, life is short and we want to, we want to celebrate our victories. And uh, we've let them have the last couple days to, to kind of digest what they've accomplished and, and get refocused a little bit. We've kind of, as they said, put the horses in the stable, let them rest a little bit, and then we'll, we'll get them back out here on Thursday and get going again. Uh, full steam ahead with practice. Your thoughts going into the season? I know your team sets goals as all do. You have uh, markers in the locker room and things that these are some things we want to accomplish. You got it during, during the regular season, Mid-South Conference regular season championship wrapped it up early and uh, now the Mid-South Conference tournament championship. Huge win over Georgetown and it's the first time since I think 2001 that the Bears have won both titles in the same year. Your thoughts on those two accomplishments? Well, it's we've been chasing it pretty hard. I mean, that's kind of been, we, we kind of skipped a step and won a national championship amongst it. Right. But uh, we've joined great company, Coach McCoy's last uh, group in 2001 to, to do both of those, and we're honored to, to be in that company. And uh, the guys have, have really earned those those awards. We set a record for most wins in a season at 30. Sure. Uh, went undefeated at home. Uh, the fewest losses in school history at two. Uh, the worst we can get, which we hope we don't get to, is three, uh, which will still be the record. And um, you know, we had had all five of our guys on the all-conference teams. Four of those were on the first team, and right. one was on the second team. We had academic, Mid-South Conference All-American. Just a lot of really neat stuff. Sure. And we had the Player of the Year, the Coach of the Year, and. Uh, I celebrate that with our staff. I feel like we've got the best staff in the country, sure. uh, and, and that shows in our in, in in the you know in the awards that we've been able to get. How does this team stay hungry? Well, their coach is going to keep them hungry, uh, but at the same time, you also saw Sunday that was accumulation of of all our efforts. The guys were tremendous. They they were awesome in that night, and uh, it really shows the maturity of this group. They want to be successful, sure. and there are groups that are talented, and and everybody's team has different strengths and weaknesses, and uh, but you got to have that little it factor that uh, you're chasing a championship and you're you're willing to do it every single night, and our guys. Uh, I, I would be totally shocked if they don't continue to have that same drive and uh, you know and, and, and goals ahead of them. You and I talked last summer, late last summer, just prior to school starting. You probably don't remember the conversation, but uh, when I asked how the team looked, how things looked, you said this is going to be a special group. Yeah, they're, and they're, I've really enjoyed them from day one. Uh, they've not been perfect. We've had moments where I've wanted to strangle them, and they've probably wanted to strangle me at the sure. same time. And uh, but I've really, really enjoyed these guys. They've been uh, fun to coach. They've been fun to hang out with. Uh, first semester academically, they did tremendous. I hope we continue that again second semester. Uh, like, like I've told you several times, we don't have, uh, we're not perfect, but we don't have a whole lot of weak spots in anything we're doing right now. I'm really comfortable and, and happy with what we've got, and we've just kind of got to keep it streamlined and keep it going. Kelly, uh, Kelly Wells the head coach of the University of Pikeville Bears, currently ranked second in the country, expecting a number two seed in the NAIA National Tournament. It gets started March 19th. Kansas City is the location. It's a place we've become familiar with uh, following the Bears. Uh, coach, you mentioned the accomplishments of the individual players. Someone that you said late last summer, we were talking about this year's team, you said, Bruce Reed, you're really going to like him. 
everyone in the conference really liked Bruce Reed. Mid-South Conference, back-to-back-to-back Player of the Week, and then he nails it with the Player of the Year award. Your thoughts on what Bruce Reed has accomplished this year? Well, he's been a a huge part uh, of what we've done, but as I've told you all before, we we didn't need a hero to come in. We just needed great team players, and uh, he's certainly been that. He's had nights where he's had to get 30-plus for us to win, and uh, he's also got two points and two rebounds in the first game of the conference tournament, and and we won. So uh, his attitude's been tremendous. His leadership's been quiet but very good. And he's, he, he knows how to play the game of basketball. I mean, he knows how to play it on both sides, defensively and offensively. And uh, he just gives us a great lift. He's a great teammate. The guys enjoy being around him. Uh, and he's been a great spark for, for kind of the runs we've had. Finishing off the Mid-South Conference first team all-conference, Keala King, Chris Cantino, Elisha, and then Bruce. Uh, you hit four of, of uh, the five starters. Josh Whitaker just as easily could have been there, named second team Mid-South Conference. Uh, Josh Whitaker. A guy that we've seen grow up. Yeah. He, he's he's been amazing. He really has been. The last three weeks of the season, he's played as well as any player sure. uh, we've had. Uh, it's just been. It's not been a shame. It's been good. But Bruce has had some bigger games. Uh, but Josh has been off the charts. I mean, he's been that difference maker for our team, and his confidence level has been um, out out the roof. He's really done a great job preparing and uh, getting ready to play, and he's really been a confidence maker for all our guys. And uh, to have five, or all, all of our five starters uh, named in that, and really we went to the coaches' meeting, a lot of the coaches were like, we should have voted all your five guys, one, sure. two, three, four, five. And uh, I can't argue with that. Right. Very easily could have happened. I'm not sure it's ever happened, but that just indicates how special this team is. The 2013-14 U-Pike Bears, 30-2, and 16-game win streak. We're looking for five more and on the way to Kansas City. Coach Kelly Wells, uh, we'll talk more about uh, the regular season, the tournament, and your thoughts on Kansas City when we come back. We've got a special guest tonight, a local guy. He's one of our favorites. He's a fan favorite, as we've all watched him grow up from the time he was, I don't know, this tall uh, till now, and it's Hobo McCoy. It's the Kelly Wells Show. We're talking U-Pike basketball on the road to the national tournament. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back in the Kelly Wells Show, presented by Appalachian Wireless. We talk all things U-Pike basketball, joined by the Mid-South Conference Coach of the Year, Kelly Wells, head coach of the University of Pikeville Bears, 30-2, and 17-1 conference regular season record, Mid-South Conference tournament champions with a huge blowout win over Georgetown in the championship. And next on the horizon, the NAI National Tournament in Kansas City, which starts on next Wednesday, the 19th, as we are taping. Coach Kelly Wells, I know you expect a number two seed in this tournament, overall seed. Uh, The last time the Bears won the national tournament, 2011, you went in unseeded and made that amazing run to knock off five seeded opponents. Uh, Going as the two seed should be an easier road. There's not going to be an easy (laughs) road, I can assure you of that. uh, we certainly took the toughest. I mean, sure. there was no doubt who was the best tournament that year, and uh, we took on everybody. And hopefully, we don't have to take on everybody this year. But there will be some great teams. I even look uh, at the teams that are seated down towards the bottom that right. are close to getting in. All those are good teams. I mean, there's no nobody good. And the risk you take is facing that team that doesn't have a good record, but sure. really is surging at the end of the year and playing great Windsor Conference tournament. Uh, and then you get stuck with a team that's red hot, too. So uh, there's some dilemmas being at the top when you have to play somebody like that, too. But it's it'll be a challenge for sure. And I know you break down this. You're one of the Raiders. You are the Raider for the Mid-South Conference. You look at the, the national things. You look at the numbers. You look at the records. You look at who's coming from which conference. As you break down the national tournament and anticipating teams that you'll see, I know you can't scout each one completely the way you want to, but obviously you've looked ahead. You've got some deep knowledge of the national tournament field. 
Are there some teams out there that just scare you with the style they play? Uh, or maybe some teams that w you feel like you would have tough matchups with? Well, uh, fear is a bad word. We're not really fearful of anybody. Right. We respect everybody. Sure. But, uh, we, we really believe in us. We really do. And I know it's, it's sometimes a cliche, but we believe in what we're doing. And, right. and we don't really care what anybody else does. I do know that it's harder to speed, a game, or to, it's harder to speed up a game than slow down a game. Uh, so I am concerned about teams that want to slow it down and sure. uh, run the entire shot clock and then sit back in a zone and make you uh, tempo and play in the 50s and 60s. That's, that's not to our strengths. Now, have we won like that? Yeah, we, we've won a lot of games like that. Right. Uh, but I prefer to, to let us play and, and get out and go. When, that's when we're special. Uh, so those kind of teams kind of are teams that I'm a little bit concerned about. Uh, but nonetheless, it's, it, we're going to face definitely some of those teams as we sure. go through the tournament. Uh, we'll face bigger teams than us. Uh, there, there are some teams like Talladega and Philander Smith that, that, that played LSU and were, were as big as LSU on right. the court, which is uh, un unbelievable. Uh, but nonetheless, we like what we've got. So it, it's really more about us than really our opponent. You'll scout each opponent. Oh, gosh. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll put in a lot of time. And we've already started gathering teams that are, that are, that are ranked and gathering film on teams that sure. could possibly see, may not. Uh, it never hurts to outwork yourself. I mean, we're going we're gonna to do all of that. But I've got coaches who, who chase down uh, all those kind of things, and it's, it's real tie. And, and Coach Compton and Coach Taylor and Coach Bringman and Coach Whitaker, they, they hustle to get all the information. Our guys right. are as prepared a, as anybody. Uh, but, again, we don't want to spend all our time worrying about other people and, and not take care of home base. And we, sure. we certainly take care of home base. Especially as this season has been, 30-2, and two, would it be a disappointment to not take care of business in Kansas City. Well, you know me well enough to know that we that we're, we're it's a business trip. It's not a vacation. Right. We want to go out there and we want to play very well. We want to represent uh, what we've got. But we, we know we're a championship team. We sure. we know that we've proved that. Uh, and it would it would be less than satisfying to go out there and not compete at a high level. Now, if we go out there and we play somebody who is is better than us and they beat us, right? Hats off to them. They're they're a darn good team if they do that. And. Uh, we, we'll be okay with that, and, and winning for me is different now than it used to be. A lot of times, I, I, I think we've got a, just a whole room full of winners, and uh, losing a basketball game will never change change that in my mind. I know you like this team a lot, and you talk about the special nature of this season. As you look at the national tournament field, are, how many teams are there? Any teams in the national tournament field that you feel like is better than this team? I don't think there's any team better than us. Um, are there teams capable of beating us? Yeah, there'll be 30, sure. 31 teams that are capable of beating right. us. You know, we've proved that uh, our Thursday outing in the conference tournament and then our Saturday outing and then turned around on Sunday and we were unbeatable. Right. Right? So we can be different things now, but if our guys are dialed in and we play our best, uh, we'll, we'll bring back a national championship. Now, getting us to play our best, who knows? You know, we're dealing with 18 to 23 year olds. You never know sure. exactly what you're going to get. We've got the former National Coach of the Year, Mid-South Conference Coach of the Year. I have faith that our team will be prepared to play. Coach Kelly Wells, uh, we've got Hobo McCoy coming up. Your thoughts on the Pike Central uh, product and a uh, key member of this Bears squad? Well, if there's anybody that's been more connected to me personally since I've been here, it's, it's yeah. probably Hobo. I, I can remember my first uh, time getting getting the newspaper, the Appalachian News Express. Hobo may remember this. In my camp picture, there's a little hobo in the in the picture at my very first camp, and I've been very close to his parents, and his mother cuts my hair. I mean, we've we've got a, a very close uh, relationship, and I, I've not been more proud uh, of a young man than I have hobo. And of course, we kind of adopted him being from here, and sure. uh, love him just like one of my own. So I hope uh, I hope little Mason Wells is watching a guy like Hobo McCoy and the way he acts and the way he carries himself because that's what. Uh, that's what I want for him as well. Absolutely. He'll be our guest next when we return on the Kelly Wells Show. We're talking U Pike basketball. It is presented by Appalachian Wireless. Right, yeah. 
Welcome back in. It's the Kelly Wells Show presented by Appalachian Wireless. I'm Andrew Joyce, joined now by one of our local favorites, a part of the UPIC Bears basketball program, 6'1 junior out of Pike Central, uh, former 15th region player of the year, and he is one that we have watched grow up uh, from the time he was in fourth grade. Uh, there were the local basketball scouts that said, you've got to watch this kid they call Hobo. Hobo McCoy, welcome to the Kelly Wells Show. Good to be back. You are a local legend here, Hobo, and now riding the uh, riding on the wave of what is UPike basketball 2013-14. Truly, it feels like a special season. You've heard Coach talk about it and some of the accomplishments of this team. What's the feeling like in the locker room with this particular team? Um, it's good right now. I mean, we've, what we've accomplished so far is, is really amazing, but uh, I think everybody really, you know, realizes that we've got something ahead of us way bigger than what we have right now. So I think we all want our, our legacy of this team to be legendary, not stop it at just being great. So I think everybody is staying focused and take this next week and find out who we play and just stay hungry like we have all season. It's a great answer, almost like a scripted answer. But Hobo McCoy, you completely nailed it. Uh, let's back up a moment before we talk about the rest of it. Hobo McCoy, of course, student athlete. And the college curriculum, tough uh, stuff. Let's talk about what your plans are, what your major is, what you want to do in the future. Uh, right now, I'm still uh, majoring in accounting, which I've got uh, after this semester, I have two more semesters left. So trying to, it, the classes definitely get higher as you go up. but. Staying focused and you know getting everything ready for you know when I graduate. So sure. that's so, uh, what I'm looking forward to. What do you want to do in the future? Uh, I'd like to when I when I get out, um, get with a, an accounting firm and then you know study for the CPA exam after you know I learn something because it's it's a, it's a really really tough exam. So sure. hopefully get on it with a firm that you know will uh, will help me give me the resources to study for it and then work a couple years and you know get my feet under me and then go for the the CPA license. How tough is it to stay focused as a student athlete, a college student athlete? Uh, you've played 32 games, you've been on the road, you've had game days, you've had time away from the classroom and now as you set to move to the national tournament again you'll miss some class time. How tough is it to stay focused in a, in a curriculum that is challenging and balance basketball practice and have a personal life too? It's difficult. Uh, it being my third year, it, it, you know, the, the transition gets easier every year, but you know, you just try to stay on top of it and stay in contact with your teachers and most of the teachers are, are good with, you know, communicating with you and giving you, you know, special deadlines. They realize that, you know, we're here on scholarship. So, you know, that's, that's the reason we're here. And I think they realize that, you know, and it's important. So they, they give us, you know, better deadlines, but it, you know, we, we study on the road and then you just, you gotta do the best you can. Are you monitoring in communication? No, I, this is really, I, I don't like communication whatsoever. Hobo McCoy, you and I are nailing this one. I'm telling you, <laughs> talking to you a couple of years ago as a freshman, uh, didn't know if you were going to make it through the segment. It's, and yeah, you have all the right answers now. It's, it's difficult, but like I said, I guess it's another transition. Let's talk basketball. Let's talk about teammates. How different is this team than the two previous teams you've been a part of here? Um, I've never been closer to, to a group of you know, of, of teammates than, than we are this year. Like I said, uh, you know, me and, and Josh and Elijah have become, you know, really close and best friends, but, you know, everybody is really close and, you know, we hang out and we talk off the floor. And I really think that's the reason that we have, we're so successful on the court because we know we have each other's backs and, you know, sure. we're, we're right there, you know, cheering each other on through everything. Hobo, you've been a part of great teams in the past. Uh, you've been a leader on great teams from the past. You've seen it, I've seen it, anyone around the world of sports has seen it. Teams that are satisfied once they rent, win a district championship mm -hmm. or a regional championship. And they're, they're completely satisfied with just going to the next level and not accomplishing that ultimate goal. Right. Is this a team that is satisfied after Mid-South Conference regular season and tournament championship. No, I, I think we've made that a point. You know, on the bus ride back, we, you know, we were talking, and you know, everybody realizes that we have something, like I said, a, a lot bigger than than what we have done. And you know, everybody wants that one goal, and 
you know, we'll take it a game at a time, like Coach Will says. It's, it's all one game championships from here, but now it, it's got to a point where, you know, it, it's win or go home. You know, we, we go to Kansas City and we lay an egg and drop one, and we come back and, you know, we've had success, but, you know, it's, it's going to be bittersweet, but I don't think that's sure. going to be the case. Familiar with Kansas City, been there, done that, so uh, nothing should be new. What are you most looking forward to on the, the trip to the national tournament outside of bringing home the big trophy? Definitely not the drive. You know, that's <laughs> the most difficult part, but, you know, Kansas City is a great place, and eating is definitely, yeah. you know, that, that's, that's a big part down there, so there's a lot of, of barbecue, and that, that's, that's a, definitely a highlight of the trip. Those of us that have made uh, more than one trip to Kansas City, or even just one trip eating multiple times, do you have a favorite barbecue joint? Uh, last year we ate at uh, Gates, and yes. that was really good. So I'm yeah. looking forward, hopefully. We'll Arthur Bryant's Gates. It's right, the yeah. ultimate argument yeah. among Bears fans, which is the best. Yeah. Hobart McCoy, you're one of our favorites have been for a long time and continue to be. We're proud of you and the role you play with the U-Pike Bears, and uh, we wish you luck in the national tournament and in your future. I appreciate it. Thanks for being a part of the show. Hobo McCoy, our guest on the Kelly Wells Show. He's a 6'1 junior out of Pike Central, and you'll be able to see him in the national tournament in Kansas City along with this U-Pike basketball team. We'll return. We'll wrap things up with Coach Kelly Wells, and we'll talk a little about What's coming up for the Bears in the next several days heading to the NAIA National Tournament in Kansas City? It's the Kelly Wells Show presented by Appalachian Wireless. Welcome back in. The Kelly Wells Show presented by Appalachian Wireless. Andrew Joyce rejoined by the Mid-South Conference Coach of the Year. Kelly Wells, head coach of the Bears, ranked second in the country. Mid-South Conference regular season and tournament champions. 30-2 and two and riding a 16-game win streak. What does any of that mean come next Wednesday? Well, you, you drop it all Wednesday. I mean, it's, it's a whole new season. And you kind of break yourself down in, in, in parts. We have an early season schedule. Uh, then you have, a, well, for us, you have an early conference schedule. Right. Then you have the second part of your conference schedule. Then you have your conference, and then you go to tournament time. And so we're, we're in the final phase of that, and we've really achieved, uh, with the exception of going undefeated uh, overall and being undefeated in our conference, we've achieved every single uh, goal that we've put out in front of them, with the exception of this last segment, and that's uh, to win one game at a time but five in a row. And uh, that starts... This, this coming week. One bus trip, but five individual business trips? Yeah, it is. And, you know, we've talked all season long about not looking at the at the big picture as much as looking at each individual game. And uh, Coach Compton even published an article in Basketball HQ this week about one-game championships. And, right. and the, the mentality that goes behind that is we can worry about all the other things that go along with basketball, but the most important thing is that moment and living in that moment. and. Uh, our guys have done a great job of dialing in and being focused every single game that we've played. Even if we haven't played our best, sure. uh, we've found ways to be successful and uh, haven't stubbed our toes with the exception of the two games. So uh, those one-game championships are important to us. Of course, uh, as we uh, are on the air tonight, tomorrow night, Wednesday the 12th, uh, a watch party. Uh, a kickoff to the NAI National Tournament with the selection show and the announcement of the brackets from Kansas City. You've, we've talked earlier, the guys have had a couple of days off, get their legs back under them, get refocused, and get back to work. What will the next week be like for a UPike basketball player? Well, a lot of us catching up on their work we've missed. I mean, that we've given them some days to make sure they go in and get their tests taken and, and their study exams and all the things they need to academically to get square before spring break. Uh, and most of them have done a good job with that. Uh, once Wednesday hits and we find out our opponent, uh, we know specifically what we're going to work on and we can challenge those guys. And we'll get back to, uh, to getting our individuals and our weightlifting in as we always do. But we'll get uh, back to our team practices and team workouts where we concentrate back on uh, putting some things together and we'll add some new elements and 
Uh, we'll change the names of some of our plays to, to give a little bit of wrinkle. And again, we're not playing who's got a secret. We, sure. We've got us, and that's who we're going to be. Uh, but we'll try to fine-tune the things that, uh, that make us a good team. How does it help you with the preparation, with having been there before as a coach who's been in the national tournament? Well, we did all right on our first trip. Yeah, so we did. We, we, uh, we can't only really complain about that. We screwed it up after we had experience. We get down there for one game. So uh, we're going to stay in a different hotel, and uh, we're going to take a different bus company. We're okay. just trying to mix a few things back up so we can get confused again and, right. and not know what we're doing. But uh, really, it, the, the biggest key for us is we've got a really experienced team that's a good, talented sure. team, and uh, that's the most thing that makes it comforting for me. We'll mix it up even further. and. Uh, no barbecue for Hobo McCoy. I would let coach ain't going if we're not eating barbecue. I can promise <laughs> you that. And uh, we have a good time, uh, not at the expense of winning and not at the expense of, uh, of of making sure we're prepared. But when we go, we we celebrate and we have sure. a good time. And like I told you, I enjoy being with these guys, and uh, they enjoy being with each other. And uh, that's that's the important stuff. Coach Kelly Wells, it's time for us to focus on one at a time, and get five more before we speak again on the Kelly Wells Show, and uh, let's bring the big trophy back and have it here in studio next time we're together. Oh, I can't wait. We're excited, and uh, we've got a great opportunity in front of us, so we want to make sure we take advantage of that. And uh, like Hobo told you, I think our guys are focused in on, yeah. on that opportunity. And there's no guarantees, obviously, but uh, I can guarantee our guys will be focused and ready. Absolutely. Coach Kelly Wells, our head coach, Mid-South Conference Coach of the Year on the way to the national tournament in Kansas City. And of course, we'll have complete coverage throughout the national tournament run. On behalf of Hobo McCoy, Kelly Wells, and all the UPI basketball program, I'm Andrew Joyce. Thanks for tuning in. This has been a presentation of EKB Sports, Pike TV, and presented by Appalachian Wireless.